In this video, I'm going to show you how to make both the traditional woven bird and using the same techniques, I'm going to show you how to make a woven dragon out of uh, spare pieces of scrapbook paper. So the first thing you want to do is take some paper. You can also use uh, 8.5 by 11 piece of paper because you wind up cutting a lot of this off at the end. Uh, I have some strips here that are one inch wide by these are 12 inches long but you could probably get away with 11 inches long and they are cut into equal strips ending about an inch and a half from the end so it's an inch tall by an inch and a half until we start the uh, four strips so what we're going to do is we're going to take uh, <coughs> one of the strips and we're going to fold uh, one of the, we'll take a strip and we're going to fold it over at a 45 degree angle like that. Now what we're going to do is we're going to weave this strip through these other strips. And so the first weave actually is over itself. So it is going over itself and therefore it needs to go underneath the next strip like that and then it goes over the strip after that and then it goes under the next strip so that is your first fold and now you're going to take the strip next to it and do the same thing you're going to fold it over at a 45 degree angle right along the strip you have there. And again, the first fold that we did, it, the first fold puts it over itself, so then we need to go under the next strip, and we need to go then over the one next to it. Fortunately, it's already over there. So that's the way that looks. So this is the way your first strip looks. You can see I folded this over. It goes over itself. It goes under, comes over, goes under. And you can see how it does the same thing on this bottom one. Now, the strips I'm showing you here are the same color on both sides, so this next part doesn't really matter for you if you're doing the same thing, but if you're using uh, paper that is a different color on both sides, a different color on either side, what you're going to want to do is you're going to take the strip of paper, say you had two strips of paper like this, where I had uh, one side has a pattern on it, and one side is white or a different color. So this side facing up that I started with had the pattern on it and I folded the strips like this and then you take the next piece of paper if it had uh, a pattern on it and you would turn it over so that now the pattern side is down. Basically whatever you did here you flip it over and do the other side on there. That way your wings turn out to be the same. Unless you want your wings to be different, then you can ignore that part of the step. But then once you've done that, you're going to do the same thing. Fold this at a 45 degree angle, like that. And again, it's going over itself as the first part of the weave. And so then the next part of the weave it needs to go under and now it's going to go over and then it's going to go under like that and then we take the next one and we fold it at a 45 degree angle right along the other strip and again the first weave is over itself and so the next weave is under
and then over. And so that is the way your final piece looks. And uh, then if you had the pattern, it'd be on the other side, so you flip it over. And now you have these two pieces. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna line them up so that these edges here form a straight line. So you're just gonna twist these until they form a straight line across. And then what you're gonna do is you're going to weave these uh, strips of paper coming off into each other using the same pattern of over under weave. And so what you're gonna do is you're gonna just kind of look at where um, I tend to start with the inside ones. They seem to be easier to work with, but it really doesn't matter. So I just pick one, say I'm looking at this one. This strip goes under this one, goes under. Now it's over, so then it needs to go under this one. And so I pick it up. And then it will go over the one after it. So it's gonna go under this first strip and over the one past it, like this. And then this next strip will do the opposite. So you can see how it goes over the strip, it goes under this one, and it's gonna go over the strip, and then it's gonna go under this one. And of course you can see how uh, it's also an alternating pattern here. That's a good way to check your work, making sure it's alternating. And so by default, you have now woven these strips and you can see how it follows the same pattern where this strip comes under here. Now it's over, it goes under, now it goes over. So you can see how this pattern continues through the whole thing. And we use that exact same pattern through everything that we're gonna do. Now we're going to take these legs here, these strips here, and do the exact same thing. So this strip right here, as you can see, starts going over this, goes under here, so now it's going to go over this, which it's already doing, and then it's going to go under this strip. And now we just do the opposite with this strip. So it's gonna go under this one and then over this one. And once you have that, you're gonna slowly work it together so that it forms a nice tight pattern. like that. And you can double check, make sure your weaves are all over under and in an alternating pattern. And so right now what we're doing is we're looking at the top of the top of the bird or dragon that we're working on. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this over. And now we're looking at the bottom of the wings. Now if you don't have a specific pattern, you really didn't need to flip it over because it really doesn't matter. But I'll pretend like there's a pattern. I'm not using pattern paper for the tutorial because sometimes that can make it hard to see the weave. So hopefully this will be easier for you to see. Okay, now that we have this, this is gonna be a little bit tricky because you're gonna have to hold the structure together as you're folding it or as you're weaving it. So what we're going to do is we're going to just take um, one of these strips from on the inside. It doesn't matter. Right now we're working on the head because that's in front of the wings. The tail's behind. It doesn't matter which one you work on first because it's going to be the exact same pattern. So we're just going to take these two strips 
and we're gonna we're gonna hold them like this and now we're gonna take a look at these strips here and say we're gonna start with this the top of the V here this top one here and you can see how it comes under this green one if we were looking at it from the top it would actually be coming over it and so what you want to do is you want this to then come under this one like this and again that's because if we were looking at the outside of this model if we were looking at it from underneath this strip would be on top of the green strip and so when it comes around here it needs to go underneath this green strip uh, that will become clear like if you used this one and you and you forgot about that and you said oh well it's over this one so it needs to go under this one if you did that it would just sort of be inside the model so that's a way to check make sure you're do, doing it the correct way and so this strip if we're looking from the outside of the model is actually underneath the green strip and so it needs to go over the green strip and come in here and so we have this now you don't want to pull it too tight you want to make sure you still have loops here because we're gonna you know want to weave into those later and if you make it too tight it's gonna be very difficult to do that and this is where you are really gonna have to hold your model together it's gonna want to start falling apart but just keep hold here and you should be alright now once you have the weave pattern started here it's uh, a simple matter to just follow that pattern so I'm just gonna take a strip uh, the strip that's closest to the one I've already done so I want the inside strip so that I can follow this weave pattern and you can see here that it this one's over this one's under so this one will go over and then under the next one like this okay and then go ahead and I'm just gonna take this this next strip and just continue this pattern that one's over that one's under that one's over so this one is gonna be under like this and now that we have the rib cage of the bird being formed it'll start to hold together a little bit better so now I'm gonna take the strip that's on the inside that's the closest to the strips we already have woven so that I can now follow the pattern so I, I'm coming in here and I see that this one has gone over so this will go under over under over and again you don't want to pull this all the way through you want to leave a little bit of a loop here so that we can continue weaving later and then we're going to take this and finish the weave pattern see, this one went under so this will go start over see this rib I pulled a little too tight so I'm just gonna ease that out a little bit so that I can go over under over under and there we have the rib cage of the bird and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna make the head and the head is in front of the wings so this is the leading edge of the wing and it's a slightly different pattern because right now we're gonna we're gonna make the bird and so there's a slightly different weaving pattern for the tail than for the head so at this point it matters which way you're working on so we're gonna work on the head first which is here because of the wings being swept back and you're just gonna continue this weaving pattern and so I'll start with this one it doesn't matter which one you start with and you can see how it is going under this this strip is going under this strip so now the next strip it needs to go over is this one and then it goes under 
and through like that. And then the one next to it does the opposite. And this is why we needed to make sure we kept those loops so that we can take this one and it needs to go under this rib and then over that one. Pull it out. And again, as you're, as you're pulling this, don't pull it too tight or you're going to pull these ribs in and it's going to be hard. So make sure you keep the back open as you're weaving the front end. Now, we need to weave these into the front using that exact same pattern. So this one went over, this one has gone over, so now it needs to go under, then over. And this one will do the opposite. This one went under, so this one will go over this, and then under this, and I'll pull that out a little bit so it's a little easier for me to get to. So it needs to go, I'll move this out of the way a little bit. And so this one is gonna go over this rib because this one went under it. And then through the front. Like that. And now when you're gonna do the tail of the bird, it's a slightly different methodology because, and I'm gonna use this to help me pull these ribs out a little bit, because what you wanna have happen is you want all the pe all these tail pieces to come out the back of the bird through these two loops here. Whereas the head, this one comes over and, and they're woven in the normal matter. And only two of them come through the center. But for the tail, we want them all to come through the center. And so what that means is this one, following the normal weaving pattern, will go over this, because it this one came out under here. So this one will go over this one, and then under that one, and through the middle. So that one does exactly what we wanted to do already. We don't have to make any changes. Now the problem comes in on this one, because if we went under here, like we're supposed to, we would then come out over this one, and we wouldn't be coming through the center. So in this case, we're just gonna go under both of them to make sure we come out the center, right there. And so then we go look on the other side, we're gonna see that if we follow the pattern with this one here, since it's coming over this one, it would then go under this one and over this one and again, we don't want to do that. So it will just go under both of these blue ribs to come out the center. And then this last one, we can do the normal pattern because it comes under this. And so the next one, it will go over this and under that rib, which makes it all come out this center like we want to. So you see how all these are now coming out the back of the bird. Now, what we're gonna do is you tighten up the bird and this is, you do it uh, individually, one at a time. You keep kinda wrestling with them. And don't just pull on one side, you want, cause that'll flatten this part of the bird. You wanna work it from the center first and then pull. And this is a process you're just gonna have to do by feel, uh, determine how puffy you want your bird to be, whether you want it to be very slim. Um, this will determine kind of, if you leave it loose, his the head will start 
uh, way up here or you can really tighten it in uh, to make his body shorter but again that's all up to your tastes as you fiddle with this uh, get comfortable with how the paper reacts when it's woven like this some people like to put stuff in the center some people like to stick uh, maybe some cotton or whatever in the center to give it a little bit uh, more of a body but you don't need to do that so it's just a matter of personal preference how you want to close in these weaves and then once you've done that to your liking you're gonna take all the the, the four strand the four uh, strips that make up the head and bring them together now, don't try and, and make them all even coming right out of the body. They're not going to want to do that because they're coming at slightly different angles. So bring them together a little bit of a distance away from the body. And as you're doing that, make sure that you're not pulling it to one side so the head is sideways. You want to make sure that it is in the center. And then once it's in the center, you've got the strips together. You're going to just tie a knot. So um, in order to make the head go the right way, you fold down first. And then you come around and just tie an overhand knot. And now this is up to you. Uh, you can check, make sure that your head is, your neck is centered. Uh, it's up to you how, how big, how big of a neck you want your bird to have. Just slowly work that knot tight, like that, and then um, here's what I was saying, where we're gonna cut it. There's no magic to this. It's pretty much cut wherever you think makes your bird look the best. So there we go. We have the neck. And the tail is pretty much done. Um, you can cut it however you want it. Um, one thing you can do is curl the tail. If you're going to curl the tail, you start curling it there. And then the next one, don't start curling it. Uh, right at the base give yourself a little bit of distance that way the curls will be different of course do the same thing on the other side now you have a bird now what I like to do here also I have nice edging scissors uh, you can do this with normal scissors, but you just have to be a little bit more creative. Give my bird a bit of a designer wing. You can do that however you choose. And now I have a nice woven bird. Now, when you're going to uh, make the dragon version of this woven model, uh, you're, you're going to fold it almost exactly the same way. I've got the, the head pulled through just like we did before. And then when we weave the tail for the dragon, we're going to weave the tail exactly like we did the, the head. We're going to follow the weaving pattern all the way through this time instead of, uh, al instead of altering it like we did for the bird. So this strip, so you went under that, so it goes over, then under here. And then this strip here goes over this strip, so it's going to go 
under then over again you're you're pulling this weaving this through just like you did the head and then this one since it goes under this one will go over we'll go over then under and following up this one since this strip goes over this one it's now going to go under and over the green ribs so in this case the head and the tail were woven in the same matter I'm not going to spend a lot of time shaping the body it's not bad the way it is it's a little uh, more rounded than the one I did for the bird got a little bit of a space there but that's that's okay and so when we do the head of the dragon we group it but when we tie the knot we actually tie it in the opposite direction instead of going under which is how we start the knot for the bird's head we go over to do our knot we come through making sure we get all the pieces keep the pieces of paper together so we go over first and then come up going up and unlike the bird we're not going to make the knight top we're going to use this part down here to make the nose of the dragon and if you're using you know, scrapbook paper or any paper that has a, a bit of uh, weight to it then just squeezing the paper while it won't make a tight knot it will hold it together and so what we're going to do now is then cut these to make the horn on the dragon and this is however you want to do it um, let's see we'll do it like this you know, a little bit of a horn on the dragon or his ears or whatever you want to call them you can if you want you can roll these to be ears and then spread those to be horns however you want to do it looks like he's wearing a headband now this part for the tail uh, gets complicated so you're gonna have to bear with me and but you're gonna follow the same pattern of weaving that you've already done so the process isn't any different it just can get a little confusing if you lose your place so what you're gonna do is you're gonna look at your strips and you're gonna take the one that's on that's coming out on top you can see how they cross uh, so you want to make sure you don't get confused about which one's actually the one that's on top same thing with here because what you're gonna do is you can continue this weaving pattern so you take the two top ones and you see how this one is coming up on top and so it's gonna go underneath this one so it's just going to cross like that and you can see it neatly matches the weaving pattern on the other side already and so you're going to have to hold that and then the next one of course is going to do the opposite weave pattern like this and then this one will do the opposite weave pattern again so you now have this coming out the back end now that part is usually pretty easy it's as you continue going on that things can get a little bit complicated 
And what I like to do to try and keep things straight while I'm doing it is I will take a uh, pen or anything similar and start weaving the tail around the pen. So now I've done this. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to hold it there so I can turn my dragon over and start and do the exact same weave on the other side. So you check to see this one right here came under so it's gonna go over and so it's uh, partner on the other side see how it went over is gonna go under which is really nice because that matches what the other one is supposed to do alright and so you're really gonna have to pay attention to holding it on holding it on the pen and then this strip will come around doing the opposite and then this strip of course will do the opposite again alright now that's that's it you just keep doing that until you start running out of paper and it's really tricky to keep it keep it from slipping and sliding all over the place but do it if you just keep an eye on what's going on. And again, checking your over unders. Keeping things lined up you can see how the pattern continues nicely. You want to end your dragon tail weave with the weave on top with a decent length of paper. And now how you're going to make the tail is you're going to take this top strip here and you're going to fold it under at a 45 degree, degree angle but following the weave pattern. You see how it goes underneath this one, so that means it's going to go over the one below it, folding it at a 45 degree angle. And now you can do the same thing with this one. But you see how this one goes over, so as you fold it, it's now going to go under the one below it. And now you can do that same thing with now the strips that are now on the top. Folding 45 degree, following the weave pattern. It might be easier to drop the pen at this point. And following the weave pattern. Going over under. And we now have the beginning of the tail. Flatten that out. And now this one here, we fold over like this. And we can see it folds over and it tucks under here. See how it tucks under. And then it comes out. Here. And we pull it like this. And this one on the other side will fold underneath and we'll do the same thing. It will tuck under and it will pop out here. And we can fold this one over and tuck it through, turn it over, fold this one, and tuck it through, and you can cut these, 
And you have a dragon tail. Now, depending upon how tight you've made the weaves, that'll make a difference with how much tail you have to work with. This one, I made the body really tight. I made the body really tight, and so I had a lot of room to work with. I used a smaller pen to form the tail, and so you get a nice long tail. This one is uh, definitely much more stubby. It has a, a more round body, short tail, and might as well give him cute wings too. And now we have a dragon and a bird.